in a group there's always someone to talk to talk over your problems or issues or just generally have a chat to while you're going along and that obviously depends on the size of the group and the dynamics of the group I um, mean you may not particularly get on with one person but you can seek another person to talk to that purely depends on the size and dynamics of the group you can minimize the amount of gear you take you can share stoves you can share water filters so you don't have to take as much equipment because it's spread throughout the group a big one of course for a lot of people the safety in numbers you feel more comfortable with more people around you decisions are shared if you're not confident about making decisions on your own those decisions are shared across the group and you may not be a leader you may be a follower and that's exactly where you feel comfortable in a group situation the downside of hiking in a group the bigger the group the slower the pace it's as simple as that big groups tend to hike a lot slower the slowest walker in the group sets the pace for the whole group group dynamics within the group everyone needs to basically get on in the group at least have the same likes and dislikes I've hiked in large groups before even to the extent where the leader and Taylor and Charlie at the back have a communication system going on their phones or even a two-way radio because you have to in a large group a typical situation is someone wants to take a toilet break in a large group so they have to come back through the group to the back and step off the trail and do what they have to do and Taylor and Charlie has to communicate to the leader that someone has stopped to take a break and then when that put and then so the whole group basically has to slow their pace till that person's done what they have to do gets back on the trail and then Taylor and Charlie can say to the leader okay we're right to go and the group starts to move again that's the logistical problems you have with a large group because if you are together in a group you can't have afford to be hiking for four or five hours and then someone says where's where's Jane or Sarah they, they weren't they were there before oh they must have uh, you know <laughs> you can't do that if you go as a group you have to stay as a group obviously it's the distinct opposite to solo hiking because in a large group you're going to tend to scare the wildlife away that's just how it is there's more noise made in a large group it's as simple as that large groups may impact on sleep at night by the time everyone settled down in their tent or you could be in a situation where you're using huts 
which obviously makes it even worse. So that's another factor. A group needs a larger camping space area at the end of the day so it's difficult to get into small camping spots on the trail and in that group situation the slowest hiker in the group always seems to suffer I've been in group situations obviously I'm older and people tend to hike a lot faster than I do so they're hiking away they decide to stop obviously it's a well marked trail so no one's going to get lost on this trail so the people up the front they decide okay time for a break they stop start having their meal their cups of coffee by the time the slowest hiker arrives which could be me I arrive at the group and everyone's just about ready to pack up and start again and I want to sit down and have my break but I'm rushing my break because they're walking around come, come on let's let's get going and, and that's what happens when you're the slowest one in the group so that's another problem with group hiking give the video a thumbs up that'd be great and hit the subscribe button that'll be fantastic as well okay hike and seeker signing out goodbye and take care